Of the life of Kolezade and others. Mr. Speaker, I will even use a minister from the NDC side. The late Bauredu, the late Bauredu, one of the respected finance ministers, go back to the record. Every budget he prepared, he sat through here. He sat through here. Bauredu, of blessed memory. And even Mr. Speaker, sometimes he will walk back and forth back and forth. I say I won't use my side. I would have used my friend Sir Tekpe, who yes. also sit in and take note. But Mr. Speaker, what uh, the leader of government business, he then needs to say that the minister is traveled. At least the deputies are here. Do business with them. Then we proceed. But Mr. Speaker, he shouldn't the debate we are ready. I keep telling him that a dance that ensues dawn, the tie is not in a haste to start it. We were ready with our ranking member on finance to do. I do expect him to go on a constitutional legal tangent because, Mr. Speaker, as leader, his responsibility was just to provide an explanation, which is known to yourself and to the two of us, that in who the Honorable Minister for Finance requested of you and the House that he has to make an urgent trip to Germany. And I'm sure, Mr. Speaker, you indulge him. That should be the explanation. But if he chooses to want to dilute the important point the Honorable Ahmed made, I'm reminding you, go to paragraph one of the minister's own statement when he presented the budget. No, yeah, I'm coming to the constitution. Mr. Speaker, paragraph one, this is what Honorable Ken Oforiata said. Right, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members of Parliament, on the authority of the President of the Republic of Ghana and in accordance with the requirement under Article 179 of the 1992 Constitution. So the Honorable Ahmed couldn't be wrong. It's your own minister who said, I came here on the President's authority. And Honorable Ahmed is reminding you that having prepared this, let the introduction of it to Parliament, where is he to listen to other members of Parliament? And then, Mr. Speaker, 179, I will come to 179. And leader, the Constitution has a context, and it has a letter, and it has a spirit. When you take 179 and read, read, it says, the President shall cause to be prepared and laid before Parliament. Have you seen the President walk to Parliament before? So the context, the context tells you that he, he will call. So he calls a minister for finance to prepare this and come here. Not the president. He says the president shall, shall cause to be prepared and late. So the president calls to be prepared this budget and it was laid by the minister for finance on his authority and on his behalf. So get the context right. Yours was just to say that your minister is unavoidably absent. And that we should bear, the Minister for Finance, we should bear with you. But for this year, it's the Minister for Finance who came. So, Mr. Speaker, he shouldn't walk the legal leg at all. 179. Once he came and presented it, our expectation is that he should be here to listen.